Hello, this is Tony Myers on the Charisma Podcast Network, and this is Pushing Boundaries, Living Supernaturally. Every one of these podcasts are created to guide you to acknowledge your full healing. By his wounds, you were healed. So I want you to live that out. We aren't to live a life plagued by illnesses or injuries, but we are to live our lives with a healthy body. Moses, at 120 years old, had keen eyesight and strong muscles under the Old Covenant. We can attain that as well under the blood covenant of Christ. Today's episode is no different, but before I introduce today's topic, I want you to write down a miracle you've experienced in your own body. Do it right now. Every one of us has experienced a miracle at one time. Remember the miracle. Now, write down a specific area of your body you need a miracle. Then say to yourself, Jesus healed that. So I am healed of this. Send me an email at TonyJustBelieves at gmail.com with your miracle request, and I will speak life over that need. Let's talk about your healing and not falling back into unbelief, not giving your healing up. As a brand new Christian, right after my healing in 2012, it was roughly, I think, a week afterwards that all of a sudden I woke up and I was completely paralyzed again. Couldn't talk, couldn't move. All the symptoms had reportedly come back. My first thought, and I'm going to use the language that I used in my thoughts because I couldn't even talk again. And so I thought it. It was Hell no, I am not being put back in a wheelchair. Jesus, that's what I said in my thoughts because I couldn't talk again. As soon as I thought that, I was good to go. All of a sudden, my body was released and I was up and moving around again. Now, I will say that prior to that, as far as I know, I had no worries about the symptoms coming back, although several people had come up to me. Well, I hope you don't have a relapse, Tony. And I'm thinking to myself, no. I, I had, to this day, I still have a little old lady, sweet as can be, sweet as pumpkin pie, um, <laughs> every time she sees me, she will walk up to me, put her hand on my shoulder and say, how are you doing? Are you still doing okay? It ain't come back, has it? And like I said, very sweet woman. I hope it don't come back. And, and, and I always tell her in the most direct but nice way, ma'am, it ain't coming back. I have the Holy Spirit in me. That's what we're going to talk about today. Too many times. We just sit back and accept anything that happens as is meant to be. Sickness. We look at, we look at sickness as if uh, there's nothing we can do. And I'm here to tell you we have the Holy Spirit who is giving life to our bodies, when we recognize and acknowledge that, it is time for believers to get a backbone. We need to develop a backbone 
and a hatred for diseases that we will stand against. And we have the power to. I am not accepting something back into my body that was taken care of. Then yes, that is my choice to make. But we're too busy nandy pamby around it. We're too busy thinking of sickness is unavoidable. That is not what the Holy Spirit's telling me. He's telling me to stand up, trust in him. The sickness does not have to touch me at all. Too many times, and, and here's a lot of the reason. Some things that people get healed from are not life-threatening, and it's things that they can function with. But yet, we want, and we already have, all the spiritual blessings. According to Paul in the book of Ephesians, in chapter 3, we have all spiritual blessings. Now, I say that, and then people put that separate from the physical world. It's not. The physical world is included in that. We have all spiritual blessings. That includes a healthy, healed body. But yet, we don't think we can say no to disease because our culture looks at it as something that's inevitable. The last time I looked, Jesus was given all power and authority both in the heavens and on the earth. I am in Christ, therefore he delegates that authority to me. I have every right in the world to deny sickness entrance into my body. And Holy Spirit will back it up. This is our authority as believers. This is who we are in Christ. We died on the cross to him. So the physical nature of this world should not have a controlling edge over us. Since we died with Christ at the cross and resurrected within him and have become a new creation, we are temples of the Holy Spirit, but yet when we are not willing to stand up and say, no, my body, you will act and function and be healthy. Get a backbone. Now, once again, I'm not one of those that believe in going around and rebuking symptoms and all that. But at the same time, say I start developing a sore throat. No, I'm not having it. The Holy Spirit is giving life to my body. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm moving on because I know that sore throat is already gone. We have to take a tough stance. We can refuse access to our bodies to anything. Thoughts that come at us. People that curse us. In Christ, we have absolute authority. Nothing shall by any means harm me. But yet, we don't stand up because we don't see it. That is not on our radar. What's on our radar is everyone around me is sick, so I'm going to get sick too. What around uh, what what comes at us is when we have other believers speaking things like, oh, you're only human. No, I'm not only human. I am a born again being. I am spirit. Yes, I have a body that my spirit resides in and that the Holy Spirit resides in, but my spirit is who's in control of my body, not the other way around. That is walking by the senses. I don't walk by the physical senses. I walk by faith. And I know the Holy Spirit who is in me 
is jealous of me and will not allow anything to harm me. When that is the truth I'm walking in. And I know I always got to give that disclaimer because then you will say, well, Tony, there's all these sick people around. Yes, but if you open up your house, if you leave the door open and you're saying, come on in, and then you're scratching your head and wondering why your house got robbed. I'm just being very direct today. And in fact, let me bring this up as well. Now, I've got many testimonies of this, so I am not picking on any single person. And I'm really not. I am using this so that people can see where when we're walking, not in the spiritual truth, but in the functional truth, the truth that we've created for ourselves, then what happens? We miss a supernatural occurrence. The example I'm going to give, and once again, I'm just going to reiterate, this can be anyone because everybody has done this. And in fact, let, let me make something up right now although I'm sure it's happened to somebody. So we've been sick for weeks. And then one day out of the blue, we're feeling better. Let's say um, we're reading the Bible, right? We're thinking about the Holy Spirit. We're thinking about God the Father. We're thinking about Jesus. Feeling terrible, not being able to breathe. Um, and then all of a sudden, we feel the electricity of the Holy Spirit. We feel energy. We feel uh, the Holy Spirit moving through us. And we're like, oh, I wonder how long this will last. Oh, God, God is here. He's with me through this struggle. I wonder how long this is going to last. And then a few minutes later, what happens? We feel sick again. We have totally overlooked. And I've heard people say this. Well, God was just letting me know he was with me. No, God was letting you know you were healed. But yet we rationalize it away. And then what do we do? Instead of standing up and just jumping up, Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. And then going to work or going shopping, doing something, we just go back to bed. Well, eventually this will be over. And I know just about every single one of you have had that experience when instead when we are spirit-minded and spirit-led, we will recognize that burst of energy. Thank you, Jesus. I am healed. And now that's when, and nothing's going to change. I'm healed, period. And instead of being double-minded and letting those negative thoughts in, you are in perfect control of your thoughts. No one can force you to think about something that you don't want to think about. No one, nothing. You have full control over what you think. Take full control. Holy Spirit is encouraging you. He is right there. He is within you. Instead of standing up, because a lot, of, look, most of the time, when it's a life or death situation and there's a healing, hey, we, we were at the point of death. So, yes, we're going to take a stand like I did. But yet, when something like a knee, 
we we have become so good at living with problems at living with physical problems working around it instead of refusing to have it so get a backbone have your defense ready and your defense is the holy spirit nope i am healed the holy spirit is giving life to me and see that in your mind see yourself as healthy so many of us see ourselves as sick see yourself as healthy this is no holds bar we need to be like hulk hogan and pick up andre the giant and body slam him we've got the holy spirit there you go wrestling fans there's a wrestling analogy everything is small in comparison to the holy spirit we need to take that verse and nothing shall by any means harm you we need to take that and believe that i am indestructible because i have the holy spirit and anything that may go wrong with my body the holy spirit is there to heal it it's already got his approval it's already got his amen we need nothing else so you choose what you give access to it is your choice paul made the statement take your thoughts captive you've got control over your thoughts and most people once again do not realize it's our soul that feeds our brain it's our soul that tells our brain how to react and if all we're doing is feeding our brain i'm sick i'm not feeling good and if all we're doing is magnifying symptoms what's that old saying junk in junk out and that's exactly what we're programming our brain to do it makes no choices or decisions on its own it is an organ but is the control center for the body who's in charge of it we are and then when we let the holy spirit take control of the reins and we admit when i'm weak he is strong holy spirit cleanse me up amen let this encourage you and i do recommend when you take that firm stance don't back down so many times of uh, here recently i prayed for a woman it was through text messaging there were two others that prayed for her as well is what i was told but here's the thing this woman fell asleep she woke up and she felt 100% better now let me explain this so there is no time and space in the spirit so when i spoke and yes when i pray for someone i do speak it out loud but when i spoke it was as if i was right there and it her spirit knew that i was speaking so therefore then she took a nap woke up and it was a miracle but then don't let the symptoms make you think they've come back I am not walking by my physical senses. Be blessed. Be healed. And be a blessing. Thank you for watching my channel. Now, hit the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Click that bell. There you go. Click it. All right. Good. Write a comment. If you would like prayer, write a comment for prayer. Give me some feedback. What about this teaching helped you? What didn't help you? Now, if you would like to partner 
with outside the four walls ministry, my ministry, then simply go to TonyBelieves.com. And we appreciate you wanting to partner with us to reach the lost and see everyone heal. Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed, be healed, and be a blessing.